Hello all. In the last two videos, we had a discussion regarding the outliers. And I hope everyone have a clear understanding on outliers, theoretically and practically. If you have missed it, please watch those two videos to get a better understanding on it. I'll give the links in the description box. Student Mitra had a question regarding how to remove outliers from a data set. Let us now take a data set and work on how to remove outliers. Before proceeding with this, hit subscribe and like the video if you really liked it. So I have taken a data set of loan prediction. Before starting with this, I need to import the packages like NumPy, Pandas and Seaborn. Matplotlib anyways, I'm not going to use it here. So once I import all the packages, then I'm loading my data set. Loan underscore prediction dot CSV. You, in, instead of this data set, you can also try with any other data set. I will give the link of this data set in the description. So this is how my data set is looking like. It is displaying the top five rows. Let me see the shape of my data set. 614 rows and 13 columns. Let me see the box plot to visualize the outliers. You can see a lot of outliers in applicant and co-applicant income, right? So let us now take a column and work on it to understand how to remove the outliers. So df dot box plot, I have taken the column applicant income. When you write the column name, just be careful. You need to write as such it is existing in the data set. So once I run the code, you can see lot of outliers here, right? So this is basically minimum. This is maximum. This lower blue line is Q1. The middle one is green, one is Q2. And this one is Q3. So I'm writing code to remove the outliers. Define, so I'm using function here. The function name is remove underscore outlier. What are we supposed to do here? We need to sort it down, right? Whenever we work on IQR, we need to sort it down. So I have written sorted and I'm finding the quartiles uh, 0 0.25 and 0 0.75. First quartile and third quartile. Then IQR is Q3 minus Q1. And then the lower bound. If you remember, Q1 minus 1.5 IQR is required. Because what are outliers? Any values lesser than Q1 minus 1.5 IQR and greater than Q3 plus 1.5 IQR are called as outliers. Just because it is a function, we are supposed to write return. Right? So then the next step, I have taken the applicant income and here I'm writing remove underscore outlier because that is what I have given here. So let me run that. And now I'm writing the condition for greater than Q3 plus 1.5 IQR and lesser than Q1 minus 1.5 IQR. So let me run these two codes. Okay. So here you can see lot of outliers. Let me see whether I have removed the outliers or not. Yeah. Now you can see that the outliers are removed. I hope this is clear, right? So in the same way, if you want to try with other columns, like a co-applicant income. So wherever I had applicant income, I have to change it. So let me change and show you that how it is working. You can work on the remaining columns, okay? So let me run this code. You can see outliers, right? So here it is lesser than 10,000 itself. You can see outliers. So what is the next step? So let me change here. Let me change here.
and also I am changing it here and let me see whether it is working or not. Right? So again, here we need to check it. Right? Okay. So let me run the codes. Okay. So where is the mistake? Huh, exactly. We are supposed to change here. Right? So now there won't be any issues. It will work perfectly. Yeah, I hope it is clear. Most of the times people forget to change here. That was the reason I'm showing you, right? So we are supposed to change in all the places. So like this, you can check for other columns also. Loan amount term, credit history, and you can see whether you are able to remove the outliers or not. I hope this video helps you to understand uh, the outlier removal. Thank you.